Hey, it's Jens. In the last video, I have shown you my review and tips how to use the 25mm 5x magnification ultra macro lens of Lauer. We've learned that it's super sharp at an aperture of 5.6, while the focusing distance is only 4 centimeters. And in today, we're gonna really use it. We're gonna go out, shoot some macro at 5x magnification and also some video. And we're gonna do everything handheld without the flash. Because I got myself this adapter for this specific lens the ring light of Lau, which shall help us illuminating the scene properly while keeping the eyes low. I was expecting the worst as this light is so small, but it was actually surprisingly good. Here is what the video is all about. The biggest challenge using this lens is the field of depth. As we have to use open aperture, the field of depth is smaller than the size of a compound eye of a fly. So how to keep the camera steady while shooting? I took my tripod and my macro slider into the forest. After five minutes, I was like, no, I, I don't want to use it. It's just, it's too complicated. So I went handheld and the results were pretty good. And the key for a sharp, stable image is actually that we have to press the ring light onto the surface. So at first I tried to hold the camera like this and stabilize it with my hand. Then I was on the ground and yeah, the footage looked horrible. But when pressing the ring onto the surface, it was really good. By adjusting the angle of the camera, I could move the focus plane till the insect was into focus or the snail. And while using this technique, I could use a shutter speed of like 100, which allowed me to shoot at low ISO. There still was a little bit of motion blur. So for images, I had to go down for one 200th of a second as there's no optical image stabilization. The perfect location to use this specific lens was for me a dead tree because there was a lot to explore and a lot of bark and wood I could place the lens onto. So even a following shot was possible by scratching the lens over the bark while adjusting the angle to keep the insect or even the eye of the insect in focus. When we take a closer look, you can see that there is a little bit of noise. For the video footage, I used a shutter speed of 100 and the ISO was between 400 and 800. For the images, I had to use faster shutter speed and the ISO was between 1000 and 3200. So that is actually kind of a problem. I really like how this works on the video footage. I know the ring light is pretty ugly, but the illumination, it works pretty good for the price. It is not a replacement of a flash. It is a good solution because we, we need the light in front of the lens and that is only possible with a very specialized flash diffuser, a ring flash or external flash elements which illuminate the scene from the side. I am already working on a flash flash diffuser solution but that will be topic for another video. One thing which I really need to mention is that this ring light matches perfect the lens. It is super tight, it got a small diffuser on the ring light which makes the situation a little better but as we've seen in the footage there is this ugly ring flash effect which I do not like but for video footage it is pretty good. And here is one more fun fact for you because when I started with macro photography five years ago the first gear I bought actually was this ring light but this is really horrible. It is extremely weak and I have not used it for like four and a half years and now I'm here using a smaller ring light again and this time I'm really kind of satisfied with the results. Of course the ring light look is a little ugly, the light is not as strong as a flash but this is really a good addition especially when you also want to shoot macro video. As promised the video with the flash diffuser will go online soon and here a few macro shots I took with the ring light. Thanks for watching, have a good day and hopefully see you in the next.